Hi there, now we're going to do lesson 341. I can attack but my own sinlessness, and it is only that which keeps me safe. Our sinlessness keeps us safe, that we've not done anything wrong, that our soul has been pure from the get-go is what keeps us safe. But when we, when we are in a state of attacking, we are attacking our, sin, our sinlessness. We're making ourselves do something wrong that then we can judge ourselves or others can judge us for later on. And that causes us to lose our safety. Paragraph one, Father, your son is holy. I am he on whom you smile in love and tenderness so dear and deep. And still the universe smiles back on you and shares your holiness. How pure, how safe, how holy then are we, abiding in your smile, with all your love bestowed upon us, living one with you, in brotherhood and fatherhood complete, in sinlessness so perfect, that the Lord of sinlessness conceives us as his son, a universe of thought completing him." beautiful, powerful. Oh my gosh. When you can state these words and you feel them in your heart, God, you created me totally, completely sinless. The soul, the eternal part of me that lives on forever, that has lifetime after lifetime after lifetime in different incarnations as different people, different genders, different sexual orientations, different colors, different cultures, different belief systems, different hair color. Um, that you created my soul to be eternal and I can, I can, with my thinking, manifest a body to have different experiences. How powerful, how beautiful that I have aligned with the truth of who I am that's eternal so that I know that that part can never sin. It can never do anything wrong. So all of my work is in, well, how do I want to enjoy this lifetime? How do I want to live in this incarnation that I have created to have an experience of separation? How can I enjoy it? Well, you will begin to enjoy it when you stop attacking people and know that nobody out there can take your safety from you. Nobody out there can hurt you. Nobody out there can give you anything. And when you are living from the place inside that you know your wholeness, now you can bring out into the world. You can give because in the giving, you receive the joy of the extension of love, of the extension of your talents, your, your song, your music, your whatever it is that you're doing. Because you realize who you are as God created you. How pure, how safe, how holy then are we? abiding in your smile. God smiles because it created us. With all your love bestowed upon us, we are beloved of God's living one with him. In brotherhood and fatherhood complete and sinlessness so perfect that the Lord of sinlessness conceives us as his son, a universe of thought completing him. All of us are nothing but thoughts in the mind of God. It's a universe of thoughts, Thoughts that have materialized because we choose to have that experience of, of, of expression, of self-expression, of separation. When we experience separation, perceive each other as other from love, oh my gosh, what a fun experience that will be. Let me read paragraph number two, which is very short and very powerful. Let us not then attack our sinlessness, for it contains the word of God to us, and it and. And in its kind reflection, we are saved. Our sinlessness, our holiness, ours and everybody else's, states that none of us could ever do anything that God did not create us to do. In our judgments, in our, our perceived, our experiences of suffering, all we're doing is creating a perception that is uncomfortable. If we stop believing that we're separate, if we stop believing that anybody can take um, our safety from it, from us or anybody can label us bad and sinful and, and change who we are. If we let all that go, what is left? But our sinlessness, our eternalness, then it's nothing more than let's just play together. Let's just co-create on this beautiful planet that is a playground. We're moving in that direction. We are on the verge of entering into a new um a new decade into we're on the verge of a few more months, a few more days to get to 2020, and then we have a decade of magnificent things coming ahead. I can assure you this, because I have my, my conversations with God all the time. We are headed towards freedom of every being on this planet. We're headed towards an awareness, an awakening to the truth of who we are. 
and nothing that is real according to how God created it can be threatened. We're going to have to face our fears. We're going to have to face the dysfunctions that we have created and choose again not to do that. And we will choose to not do that once we practice having faith in a miracle and put it into practice and begin to love others even though they do things that are that that, that are not fun to experience. But once you you own your eternalness, sticks and stones can break your bones. But words will not hurt you. You will come to the place that you realize anybody who is saying something that is hurtful is because they are calling for your love, your forgiveness. Because you forgive yourself for having forgotten in the first place that you are an eternal being in this world that we are experiencing is a projection of a collective dysfunction that each one individually has to begin to clean up so that we can move out of that and return ourselves to our center where we claim our sinlessness, free the world so that everybody can be safe in this beautiful planet that God is holding safely in its mind. Thank you all so much and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.